I didn't touch a fin. Hello, Diamond Hunter Zero here, and today a tutorial on one of the new features, not new, but one of the uh, features they added in 1.8. Um, so if you've just bought Minecraft, or if you haven't uh, realised they have this tool, in 1.8, um, up to 1.8.3, in the Create world there is a feature called Customised Worlds, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to create a new world, and I'm going to show you how you can customise it as you wish. So this is 1.8.3, works for 1.8.2 or 1.8.1 and 1.8. And you go into single player, and like any other uh, version, create new world. Uh, you've got survival, hardcore, creative, uh, the game modes. Uh, but if we go into more world options... We have the regular ones, we have the seed, uh, generate structures, cheats, um, bonus chest, and your world default, which you have in um, the common versions. So if we go into creative for this, cheats are on. Now if we click on world type, we have super flat. Now super flat is in 7.10, uh, 7.2, and I believe 1.6, I'm not sure. Um, if we go into Super Flat Customize, which is underneath, we are presented with this. Uh, this is the Super Flat Customization, and this will give you Super Flat Worlds, uh, worlds that are completely flat. And they have presents, or pre-made worlds, to choose from. And so we have the Classic Flat, which is the one you saw, Tunneler's Dreams, which is one grass block, five dirt, and 230 stone, uh, we have Water World, which is 90 water, 5 sand, 5 stone, sorry, 5 dirt and 5 stone, which is good if you're doing a Water World. Uh, we have the Overworld, which is similar to Classic Flat, but that one will spawn villages, and it has uh, more stone. Snowy Kingdom, uh, very similar, uh, to the um, regular uh, Miner's Delight, uh, with snow on the top, sorry, down at the stream, Bottomless Pit, uh, three grass block, sorry, one grass block, three dirt, and two cobblestone, not bedrock. Now this then means that you can tunnel underneath the cobblestone to the void, which is the area underneath. Uh, this is quite good. Um, if you want to build a map or a mini game, but you're better off using MC Edit for it. Desert, uh, similar, 8 sand, 52 sandstone, 3 stone, 1 bedrock. Good if you need a completely flat desert world. And our uh, last one is redstone ready. Uh, this is good for YouTube films or for redstone testing, mob testing. And this is actually made out of sandstone. So you've got that nice, clean, flat surface. Um, it's a different colour to pretty much every other Minecraft block. So it's easy to spot things against. It doesn't set fire. It doesn't disappear. It doesn't give off particles. So it's very nice for displaying things or showing things. You can mess around with these presents. And what up here? Uh, what you'll see up here, this is the code for each present. It will uh, show you um, what's in each one. Um, I'm not actually going to do anything with it um, because it's a bit hard to get the grasp of. Um, so we're going to cancel with this. Cancel. Um, actually, one more thing. If you select any layer once you've selected a present, you can choose to remove that layer. You cannot add laid, uh, layers yet. You can only remove at the moment, which is a bit annoying. But um, if you want to get rid of any layer in one of the presents, it's a good idea to do that. Um, now we have a couple more large biomes. This um, actually makes biomes in vanilla Minecraft uh, larger. It won't really change the generation, 
that just changes the size that the biomes will spawn on. Um, next one is amplified. Now this one is uh, crazy and it does require a very good computer. Not It doesn't really run so well on laptops. Works better on a base computer or a home computer. And what it does is it actually creates really tall mountains and caves and it's such a useful thing. I'm just going to show you. So we're going to go done and go amplify I'm not sure how to spell it uh, this takes a while to load because it's such a uh, beefy program and I'm sorry about if the vi uh, video quality goes down but it does take up a lot of your computer's progressing if you're working off a laptop like I am now we'll see if it's going into downloading here Now it's generated. Now you see the world hasn't loaded in yet because it's such a huge file. Uh, this will take quite some time to load. So if I grab some night vision, I'm going to drink this. And now we'll see it's uh, just loaded. and you'll see the terrain starting to spawn above me. So what it does is it creates these uh, covens, caves, and mountains, um, and they will spawn in these sort of islandy, arch-like terrains, and it actually spawns in these islands, uh, these waterfalls. This is a very good map if you're doing a sort of an adventurer's or a building map with floating islands, but... um. It's particularly hard for survival because of the um, mountains you'll have to scale. And it's such a large uh, file that it's a good idea to put a world border around it. Um, if you're doing a, just a small area for a mini game, um, because if you keep the world border around, it won't load all those other chunks. Uh, it spawns in water. Uh, we'll see gravel fall in there. Um, it actually spawns gravel in naturally and then uh, activates gravity so that the uh, gravel will fall and you'll get a natural shaped mountain. Uh, you can see that there uh, we are going above cloud height. Uh, mountains will not do that in your regular world and we'll see uh, they do pretty much the same for every biome. They do it for sand. Uh, it's very cool if you're doing, as I said, map building. Uh, very cool if you're doing sort of castle or floating island schemes. It's also very good if you're mining for ores above sea level, which is a rare, unless you're going to use what I'm going to show you next. Um, another funny thing if you get to load are the villagers. The villagers look very funny if you manage to find one in this sort of terrain. I don't think we are... No, I don't think we are. But um, you'll see that it is taking quite some time to load. And um, this is pretty much all there is. It's really fun if you get it to work. It's a great idea for small worlds. Um, for your PC world, it's not a very good idea as um, to have the whole world loaded. Terrible for a server choice, really. But um, if you do, as I said, put a small world border around it, it's a very good idea for um, map making or mini games. So I'm going to exit now. Save and quit to the title. Uh, taking some time to quit. I'm just going to delete that so I don't um, have it uh, running. Now if I go into create new world again, put it back onto creative. We saw super flat, large biomes amplified. Now this is the new one that they added in 1.8, which is customized. You'll see that the uh, generate structure has disappeared, and you'll see that the customize button has come up. Now this is your customized world settings, page one, and this is very cool for survival and for map making uh, ideas. It also gets a bit technical at the end, but I'll show you what everything does. 
So this is uh, choosing how your world will generate. So the first thing is your sea level. Your basic sea level regular is 6 to 3. We can take that all the way up to the top, or we can go down. So uh, we're going to make it go up today. Strongholds are automatically on, because you want those spawners. Mine shafts are automatically on. Ocean Monument, which is a 1.8 item, automatically on. Same with dungeons, uh, water lakes, lava lakes. Lava oceans are not turned off, because what they will would do, uh, do is, if you've ever seen a Minecraft ocean, you'll know that they're quite large. Every um, ocean it generates has a chance of being a lava ocean, and they're so large that they can actually take quite a bit of your processing up and set fire. So I'm going to leave that on for the moment. Biome size is normally at 4, that's your regular size. You can make them larger, which is what um, uh, the amplified biome setting did, um, but this is just a little more advanced. We can also make them smaller. Um, if they're downsized to 1, which is the lowest, uh, they're quite smaller, but that does mean that there are more chances of different biomes spawning. Villages are automatically on. Temples are automatically on. Ravines are automatically on. Now your dungeon count is how many dungeons will spawn. The default for Minecraft PC is 3 to 7, it seems, for 1.8. Uh, we can take that down to 1, um, or we can go all the way, be ridiculous, and take it up to 99 or 100. Uh, water Lake, this decides how rare Water Lakes are. We'll bring that one up. We'll take Lava Lake, same, it decides how common Lava Lakes are. We'll take that one up. Biome size. Now this one's interesting for uh, map makers or for minigame makers. Uh, this one you can use to select just one biome. So you have ocean, plains, desert, extreme hills, forest, tiger, swampland, river, ocean, uh, frozen ocean, which is I don't think spawns uh, commonly in natural vanilla. Frozen River, Ice Plains, Ice Mountains, Mushroom Island, Mushroom Island Shore, Beach, Desert Hills, Forest, Tiger Hills, Extreme Hills, Jundle, Jundle Hills, Jundle Edge, Deep Ocean, Stone Beach, Cold Beach, Birch Forest, Birch Forest Hills, Roofed Forest, uh, what else? Cold Tiger, Cold Tiger Hills, Meta Tiger, Meta Tiger Hills, Extreme Hills Plus, Savannah, Savannah Plateau, Mesa, Mesa Plateau, Mesa Plateau. Um, so that is literally every biome you can get in Minecraft. We're going to leave it at all so I can show you the biome size. River size does what it says. You can choose how big your rivers will be. We'll put it at two for now. Now you click up the top right hand side is next page. Now this one is very interesting for survival, because you can choose how common, how big, and where ores will spawn. So we have dirt, uh, uh, this is at its natural spawn size. Um, I'll show you the four categories. Spawn size is how big a clump it spawns. Spawn tries is how commonly it spawns. Minimum height is the lowest it goes, and maximum height is the highest it goes. Um, gravel, very similar to dirt. Granite, which is the 1.8 stone, uh, very similar. Diorite and andesite, the same. Now you can get down to coal. We have all the ores here, all your generic 1.8 ores. Lapis, all the way down to coal. And this is very good for survival, because you can choose how much ore you receive, and how common it becomes. So if we take this one up, and then we mess around with this, spawn try is amplify that, and that makes it more common. Amplify the sp uh, spawn size, and that uh, amplifies the amount that you're getting. And this is very good for harder to find ores, if you can't be bothered looking, or if you want to show people uh, where they spawn naturally. Uh, this is good if you're beginning and you just want to learn how to mine. Uh, redstone. Bring that map site up. Diamond, this is very cool. I'm going to take this one to the max almost. And bring that all the way up. 
lapis will do the same. This you'll need um lapis uh, magnified if you've done the magnified the ores because you'll need it for enchanting. So it's quite useful if you've decided to magnify that. Now lapis has a little a different spawn to all the other ores. It has a central height and a spread height. So the central height is the center that it spawns from and your spread height I believe is how far either way it spawns. Because lapis can spawn anywhere I believe. So if we take that up to um, there and then put that in the center that should spawn very commonly. Next page. Now the next two pages are a little technical. Expert users only. You usually don't have to worry about this unless you know what you're doing. I really have no idea what they are. Uh, same scale weight, depth weight. Uh, the f last two pages are same. One with a scroll, one with a number. Now one more thing is presence. Uh, present, same as Super Flat World, they put pre-made ones in, and they're very cool. We have Water World, which is um, all water, but with caves and uh, stacks in the water, so that's very cool. Uh, for maps, if you're doing an all-water map. Isle Land, similar to the Amplified, but it actually spawns floating islands. Uh, there's pretty much no solid ground, it goes all the way down to bedrock. Caver's Delight, uh, very similar to the Amplified, uh, a little more ores, I believe. Mountains, similar to Amplified, but very little flat terrain, uh, much more mountainous. Drought has very little water, so you'll see that the water level would have gone right down. Basically, it's the same without water. Caves of Chaos, uh, Chaos very similar to Amplified again. Good luck. Um... Yeah, good luck. Lava, ocean, and stone. Good luck. We're not going to use any of them. I might use the island one later to show you. But if we click done, and then create new world, I'll show you how those ores will spawn in and how that water works. So it's building the terrain now. It may take a while, because it's the same as the amplified world. It's a little different. Uh, this one should be fine to run on laptops, it doesn't require as much processing power, depending on what present or how you've messed around with the uh, last two pages. And we'll see, we're very kindly spawned next to a lava ocean. And you'll see that the lapis that I showed you now spawned in huge chunks um, all the way up here. Same with the coal, and I think there was a bit of redstone somewhere. And so, um, we've actually brought that level down, as you remember. Um, I don't know why it's... Uh, sorry, we brought it up, actually. Um, so this would normally be um, dirt here, but uh, we turned Lava Ocean on and we accidentally brought the level up. So this, this is a very nice idea for survival, I think. This sort of world with amplified ores and Lava Ocean. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. And you'll see that the diamonds that we spawned in huge chunks are now over here. And if we're lucky, and when we did down, there's gold. Uh, gold's more coal. Lapis. Redstone. The dirt, we didn't mess around with. Uh, we didn't do diorite, andesite, or... Is that... There's emerald. I don't know why, but they haven't put um, a choice in to change the spawning size of emerald. I don't know whether because they still want that to be a challenge to do with trading, or uh, whether they haven't decided to add it yet. So that's uh, a thing you'll have to factor in. You can't change the size of emeralds. Now, let's see if we can find a cave, and I'll show you what they look like from the inside. Um, this looks like a nice one. Now you can't quite see, but if you look at all the islands that we were looking at before, you'll see that each one was a different biome. We had stone, which is what we're on. Uh, there was a normal birch one, which we passed through earlier. And um, so now we're in a cave system. You'll see that these diamonds are everywhere. Uh, we put a fair amount of 
diamonds in. Probably a little too much. Unless that's how many diamonds you want for survival. Um, you'll see that everywhere is just stacked with um, ores. Now this could be a useful thing for a UHC. If you're filming a UHC, this could be good if you just change the ore spawn a little bit. But, um, this is a ridiculous amount of diamonds. Uh, this is a spawner, actually. And, um, a little random. I don't know. Uh, you cannot change the amount of spawners at the moment. I don't know why. Uh, that could be something that they've added for future versions. At the moment, it's just dungeons. And if we mine up, hopefully won't need any lava. Yeah, we fell into lava. And you'll see, I'll quickly show you now, that they're all different biomes. We have a dark oak forest over there, we've got snow there, stone, that actually could be extreme hills, yes it is, normal forest over there, and there's all these different biomes closely together, and you would be able to see that if the lava wasn't in the way. And this is basically all there is for the customized world options. It's really fun just to mess around with it. Um, very cool. Uh, please watch some other videos, subscribe, and stay tuned.